There are 5,000 widows and about 800 orphans of IDF soldiers and national security forces in Israel. Every one of these families has a unique and tragic story of loss. This is the story of the Luft sisters, teenage girls who lost their father Tzvika in a helicopter accident when he served as a pilot during the 2006 Israel Hezbollah War, also known as the Second Lebanon War. Our father died in 2006. He and another pilot named Tom Farkas were flying in a helicopter and the propeller just fell off. He was on a mission, a mission that the army gave him. He was supposed to do it. He loved it. He loved to fly. He died in the first second that they started falling, so he then really suffered. My dad was amazing. He was funny and cynical, kind. He, I don't know, my dad. <laughs> the whole package. <laughs> he was unique. In order to assist and morally support families with such traumas as these, an organization for widows and orphans of the IDF was established. They coordinate activities in summer camps for the children so they can speak and relate to other kids with similar life experiences. We have a variety of activities um, that enables the kids to be together, support each other, and enjoy an environment of peers who've experienced similar life experiences and can really understand the unique course of life um, that these kids um, are having or dealing with. It's really a place where these kids like Yuli can be themselves and bring to the table whatever they are. Every year I go to camps like that. If I cry, they don't start to ask questions. They just understand how I feel and they know, they, they just know better. Mika and Yuli were home when news of the helicopter accident broke out on July 24th, 2006. Their third sister, Aya, stormed out as soon as she heard, while the girl's mom, Orna, was left to explain her girls the unexplainable. Around, I think, two, a really good friend of uh, my dad, Shmaya, came here with his uniform. My mom went out to him and he took his cap off and then she fainted. I don't know how much time later my mom went up and told me. She was wet with tears and she told me, Mika, your dad is dead and like five times. I just remember that I wanted to know every detail. I wanted to know how he died, when he died, and I want to hear it again and again and again. It was really hard on my mom. They were best, uh, best friends. Uh, she's a brave woman. She didn't really fall apart. Not then, and uh, not then, and not now. She's inspiring, very. Six years have gone by, and though the Luft girls demonstrate incredible strength and determination, the memories and sense of emptiness naturally remain. I think about him every day. Um, Um, everything little actually, like coffee or a basketball game, everything. Um, now um, I'm going to enlist the army. That's also reminds me of him. I don't know, he's everywhere and nowhere. In Israel, there are thousands of such stories of Israeli family men and women who died and were murdered in the name of their country, leaving their spouses and children to live with the empty space. These men and women are commemorated on Israel's Remembrance Day for the fallen soldiers and victims of terror. For JN1, I'm Sivan Raviv, Israel.